This call is now being recorded. Okay, so let me share the screen. Can you see my screen? Just a jump. Yeah. So I need to open another one. Okay. Uh, before that, let me just uh, cut that part. Yes, so here we need this correction. So psi compose V inverse. Here you need to look at the both map, both map, not just this one. And Phi compose psi inverse are smooth map. So, so smooth will mean C infinity smooth. Okay. So this is what uh, Rakhal was pointing out. So instead of just looking at this map, we need to consider this map also, the inverse of it. I'll give an example where this one happens, the other might not happen. So this, this, what is this? This is phi compose psi inverse. So both of them must be seen pretty smooth. All right. So you see, so one might think that if you look at collection of all charts and try to see uh, uh, whether this compatibility is an equivalent rela equivalence relation, right? So what do you think? Will it be uh, equivalence relation? Yeah. So is it? Ah, yes. Yeah, so what do you think? Will it be an equivalence relation?
Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anybody here to say no? Reflexivity and symmetric is very straightforward. Yeah, true. Yeah, so transitivity is the uh, only question. Yeah, so keep on thinking. So before that, let me uh, show an example of this compatible or non-compatible charts. Okay. So, so consider this is an example. So consider, let's say, an interval in R, let's say, minus 1 to 1, comma, identity. So this is one chart, right, on R. Yeah? And look at this one, minus half, comma, let's say 2, whatever, you to put 1, 2, or not, doesn't matter, phi, where phi x is x cube. So these are two, two charts, right? These are two charts in R, right? So are these compatible? So question is, are these compatible? So, sorry. Here is it. Here is zero, minus one, one is minus half. Two. Right? So the point is to consider this intersection. Or oh, maybe yeah, I should have put different colors. All right, so let me put it. So this one one is here. And the map is just identity. So let me call it uh, psi. So phi will be identity. So psi, psi. Phi will be identity. So phi is identity. So it is go to it is going to go to minus one to one. All right. And this one, of course, it goes to. minus half to one. So this is the part of the inter image of the intersection. Another chart is this and map is ah. map is psi. So here it maps. Minus up to two. And till one, so this is the part here intersection, right? Now we need to look at two maps, right? One is this one, this one. And so what is this map? Psi compose phi inverse. And other thing is phi compose psi inverse, right? Now calculate. So 
ಸೊ ನಾ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಇದೆ ಯಾರು ಸೈಕೊಂಪೋಸ್ ಫೈ ಇನ್ವರ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಅಡು ಲಿಟ್ಟಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಮನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಫೈ ಇಸ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಟಿ which interval i mean where, where is this map defined psi compose phi inverse minus half to 1 right minus half to 1 all right oh no so there is a problem here i'm sorry uh that no no this is fine this is fine the other way is 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 a problem okay now this is this is seen pretty smooth and this is this is seen pretty now phi compose psi inverse x what is it so what is psi inverse x power one third right yeah is it clear to everybody yeah x power one third x power one third where on yeah what is the interval so i i think i did a minus one mistake. by eight come right right so i did a little mistake here so let me change it so this one is minus 1 over 8 right and it goes to 8 8 and this is the image uh, which is not one this is this is this should be a little smaller so yeah so um, so this this is the point one so this would actually increase much further this is eight all right so on this this is the image of minus up to one under psi psi is the map x goes to x cube so this is this is on 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 interval minus one over eight Two and one. Now is it simply smooth there? Is it same bit smooth? I think the derivative at zero. Derivative at zero? I mean, is it differentiable at zero? No, sir. Yeah. So it's not even differentiable at the origin, which is not, which is not differentiable at the origin. 
So therefore, these two charts are not compatible. So the conclusion, so conclusion, these two charts are not compatible. Well, same field is more, same field is compatible. Or even, not even C1 compatible. Okay. So that is the reason that we need to consider both the maps, not one side. So, phi, psi compose phi inverse as well as phi compose psi inverse. All right. So, any question here? Any question? Okay. Okay, so, so last time we defined uh, atlas, atlas, right? So we want to go to differentiable structure as well. So, so we want to look at differentiable structure. But before going further, yeah, maybe like the board, let me divide it in two parts so that it will be easy because I can't move here. Only. So uh, for for we had we had this the definition of atlas. So can you remind me what is the definition of atlas? What was the condition? Or what was what was it? It was a collection of charts such that the open sets cover the whole space and uh, it is pairwise C infinity compatible. Right, right, right. So you have a topological man manifold. So for it for a topological manifold. M of dimension in an atlas is a collection U alpha. Phi alpha, alpha is an index set of charts. Same thing is in the book. So, so this is this is important. This is pretty important. Now there might be just several atlas, right? Let us give a few examples. So example. Look at circle. Unit circle. I'm sorry for a little bit. Let me try to draw it a little bit away. Yeah. So this is the origin. Now you might have the following. So U1 is, let's say, So what will be it? So 
Tin coordinate here, one can write as nothing but IT, right? T lies between 0 less than T less than 2 pi. Right? So what is U1? U1 is, is this one. The whole the point one. So which is nothing but yeah, nothing but circle. So this is S one. So S one minus the point one comma zero. Right? In R two. So S one sitting inside R two. We are considering to that. Right? Similarly one can write u2 as it will be variety 0 less than sorry minus pi less than t less than pi so which is nothing but s1 minus the point 0 comma minus 1 right so what will be the maps So what will be P1? So you have seen in algebraic topology, right? For, for, when you see a fundamental group of circle, yeah? So what will be P1? Yeah? It can send erase to IT to T. Of course, but... <laughs> But what is the map? You know, I mean, is it is it a one one map? Is it a yeah? Is it a homeomorphism? So is it continuous? So what is the inverse of exponential? What is the inverse of exponential? Log. Logarithm, right? Yeah, so complex logarithm is a very interesting object. It actually ultimately leads to surfaces, to, to a Riemann surface, but here in this case, so phi one it goes to u one from u one to let's say so into r some open subset of r and it actually uh, it is just uh, as you say d to the power i t goes to t but but you need to define the domain properly so if 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 w is equal to let's say z equal to log z. So what is log z? Right? Yeah, so this is this is the defined as log mod z plus i argument of Jet. Right, this is a complex number. So you need to think when you look at chart in this setting, you need to look at uh, this R2 as, as C. So line inside C. Okay, so here, I mean, uh, so RJ is, uh, is, is, is actually. Yeah, so RJ we need to define it. Yeah, between zero and two pi. 
So similarly here, so I'll, I'll not go into details of this one. You will see it. We'll come back to it once you do some uh, complex analysis in your other course. So after that, we'll do it. But in this case, just let me write it up. So here, this arc actually varies. OK. So similarly, this will also be uh, log jet. Jet goes to log jet. But then this log jet here, again, mod jet plus i arc jet. And here, minus. Fine. And both these cases, it is continuous, one, one, inverse is also continuous, everything holds. That is the property of logarithm, which, which occurs in real line to real line. It holds in certain domain in C to certain domains in C also. So that map is locally one, one. OK, so in any case, let me, let me look at another chart, another difference. Uh, sorry, another atlas on the circle. Okay, so it might be better for you, or it might be easier. All right. So let's look at circle again. So, so for those who are interested, previous slides here. So those who are interested, compute that tra transition function. Uh, So compute the transition functions, functions. So those who are interested, you can do it now itself. Others can do it later once you, they know. Yes. Sir, uh, we are defining log z as log mod z plus i times arc z, right? Yes, yes, yes. But uh, isn't, I mean, the range is a real number so why does i come there uh, you you are right, you are right. It's, that is true so it's it right 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 you are right so in this case what is log z log mod z yeah in in your case when you when you are looking at circle You are right. It's very, very right. So I, I wrote it uh, from the complex analytic point of view, but here mod z is 1. So log 1 is 0. So it doesn't go to r actually, it goes to ir. But yeah, you are right. So instead of log, we could just write arc z. RZ lies here. So maybe I should put it here. Yeah, this is a good comment. So so zero la less than RZ, less than two pi. You see, this is this is, this part makes sense perfectly, right? Zero less than r z less than two pi, right? Log mod z part is one, and there is there there is i, but since we need to go to real line, here we need to omit that i. So you need to divide by i, or you just multiply by i, do something. So we just divide it by i, ignore about ignore that i. I get real number. So similar thing here. Yeah. So it is actually logarithm instead of logarithm. What you get is argument function, right? Now this is this is a known function to you, but you the continuity and all these things comes from logarithm. So logarithm part is pretty important. Okay, so yeah, is it clear now? Yes, 
Yes, sir. Okay. So here, this this R J varies from minus pi to pi. Yeah. So it is the argument function, and that is that is actually e to the power i t goes to t, the same function. T is the argument. All right, but it, it what where does it induce from? That actually uh, comes from logarithm. So that's why I mentioned log. All right, let's go to the next one. For example, well, so same example actually. Uh, instead of this chart, we like look at a different one. Okay, so you need circle zero. You look at the axis, x-axis, and this is y-axis. Okay, and divide the border. Okay, so. So what do we do? We look at the charts. So charts will be of this form. This one. This arc. This is U1. Right? So what is u1? x, y in s1 such that y is greater than 0. Yeah? This is u2. Is u two x y in x s one such that y is less than zero? Does this to cover all of circle? No, sir. Two points are left. Points are left. All right. So let's make it another chart. So if you write another chart. This is this one. U three. Right? So U three is X Y in a one such that X greater than zero. And U four is This one x y in s one such that x is less than zero. Does it cover all two? Yeah. Now it covers, right? So s one. S1 is containing U1 union U2 union U3 union U4. Let us just give me the uh, give. Let us just give the maps and then leave it for today. And sorry. okay, there is some space here. So yeah. So charts. U1. So from U1, what we need to look at is the map is just projection like this, like this. So phi1 xy is x, right? 
phi 2 x y is x as well phi 3 x y is y right so this one projection on this side on y axis and phi 4 x y is also y Now it is clear, there is no complex analysis here. All right. So, so it's an exercise. Compute the transition function. So those are called transition functions that phi j compose phi k inverse j k belongs to one, two, three, four. All right. So compute this and take and check whether Yeah, any question here? 